Okay guys, welcome back to our how-to video on installing a Digitrax DCC decoder to an Authern Blue Box SD40 kit. What I've done is I have taken the harness and I have gotten it ready by shortening some of the wires that don't need to go as far into the engine as some of the other wires, meaning some wires that are going to here may not need to be as long as some that it might be going to the trucks. I've also removed wires green violet and in this case yellow because I'm not going to have a rear light from here all I did was just cut them off and I've added a little bit of solder to all the ends to get them ready and I've added a little bit of solder to the engine just to get it ready so first what we're going to do is start soldering the harness to the engine or motor rather and we're going to bench test it now according to the diagram it is the orange leader wire going to the top and the gray one going to the bottom so I am going to, you always want to heat the surface of whatever you're soldering just so you have a good connection spread that around try not to move it too much and we got a good connection let that cool, bada bing bada boom, you can lift that and we're going to do the gray here on the bottom add a little bit of solder turn that so you guys can see it remember we move these little tabs off and it, again that's just because you can't have the same ground from the trucks is the ground on the motor. You can't share that ground like you could with normal DC power. Okay, and as soon as I can find my gray, which is here somewhere, there it is. Sorry about that. We'll add the gray which is your negative or common, whichever book you're reading. You can heat up the surface, get that up in there, spread it around, and let it cool. Okay, now we have gray and orange to both sides of the motor. Now in order to bench test this, make sure that it's good, you want to add the chip and make sure this is cool, you don't want to fry the chip by heating up the wires and that's, you know, heating up the chip because then you're out of a chip. Just plugged it in, you don't need to go all the way in because you're just going to pull it out here in a sec, you just want to make sure it works. Digitrax decoders come with a setting of three, so I'm just going to go loco three. So three is on the throttle. I'm just going to set this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Red and black are your track pickups. So we're going to add red and black. And if I give it some juice, this thing ought to spin. Okay, and if I go in reverse, okay, so it's bench tested, we know it works, we know the decoder's good. Okay, the next part is to do the trucks. Now I've already prepared a red wire and a black wire that I showed you earlier. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the red wire to the post. And the black wire has to go on this metal side frame that runs along here behind the plastic side frame. And that will give you a positive and negative side of the truck. So again to show that, I'm going to set this up here so you all can see it. Turn that a little bit. I already added a little bit of solder there to the top and we will take the red wire and these only need to be a few inches in length 
and again heat the surface up heat the solder up spread it around and try not to move it a little bit or too much rather and there you go that's a good connection now black wire is a little tricky what you gotta do is you gotta basically set it up in here and basically solder back in here which is difficult to get on camera so I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like which is this truck here red and black soldered up through there and I'm hoping you can see it the actual solder connection was dumped from the bottom alright once you have the trucks all soldered in we're going to take the red from here the red from here and we're going to attach it to the red in the harness which is what I've done here put them all three, we'll put a little piece of electrical tape on it and we'll do the same thing with the black here the black here and again the black here in the harness, we'll just solder the three of those together and again we'll put some electrical tape on it now the reason why we attach the trucks first instead of doing it outside of the frame is so that they fit through the holes that are provided in here otherwise you'll end up cutting it and unsoldering it and doing it all over again also a little side note if you're uncomfortable with soldering the side frames like I was just describing because uh, you do run a chance of melting the plastic and the, and the plastic part of the side frame as well as the you know the gearbox up underneath you can sand off a little piece somewhere here in the frame and solder a single black wire right here to the frame uh, it's not a great contact because you're going from the truck to the frame and then to the chip where this is direct uh, so either way is really okay but this is really the best way to do it okay the next part of this is to hook up the blue and white to the light fixture that came with the locomotive and according to this the white goes on the positive side and blue is the common side so all we're going to do is we're going to take white to that end and the blue to this end and when we install, install it to the loco we'll use some electrical tape to isolate it again from the frame so we're not sharing the circuit and that is the end of part two stay tuned to part three and we'll put this thing back together and we'll do a bench test and we'll be able to rock and roll